hammer that's rocking. It's another big day on the WGN Morning News at 9. Today, where are the Native American mascots? We'll talk to the co-director of the new award-winning documentary, Imagining the Indian. Plus, nearly half a million Americans are jailed because they can't pay bail. We'll learn more about this with the founder of The Bail Project, who has a new book out, The Courage of Compassion. And we'll have a live performance from the Broadway musical, School of Rock. Hello, Weekend. Live from the WGN studios, this is the WGN Morning News at 9. Hey, Toomey. Good morning, you guys. It's Superheroes Day, and uh, I make no secret when I say my favorite superhero is Batman. And I have conversations with my kids about who's Batman's cooler. You know, of yeah. course, I grew up with Adam West, and they've seen all these new actors. And until I saw this video, I realized I'm never going to let my kids see this because I will lose the argument. Take a look. I was walking along, <laughs> minding my business. Oh, no. Yeah. Went out of an orange-colored sky. <laughs> Slam! Bam! Zowie and Lamb! came by <laughs> I was singing a song drinking in sunshine acting as friendly as could be crunch plop crackle and pop they threw their curves at me <laughs> somebody yelled hey Batman what are you waiting for with a zap and a crack I began my attack after that they were flat on the floor so i'm walking along yeah this goes on a long time so I'll, i will let our producer pull out of this one uh, what, what is this from it's from the hollywood palace and it's kind of like saturday night live where they would get a different celebrity to host it in this yeah. particular week Adam west was the host he came out as batman did that musical number wow. that's spectacular yeah. We had the whole show. George Carlin was a guest on that week. It was uh, wow. it's never Hollywood that. Palace. Huh. How could you too. not say that's the coolest Batman, yeah, right? right? That's, that's the that. coolest yeah. Batman. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Song and dance. You yeah. lose the argument. Thanks, yeah. Mike. <laughs> we watch, watch, watch on the Channel 9. We watch, watch, watch on the Channel 9. 9, 9, and 9. All right, number nine, there's a new whiskey dedicated to the king. Elvis Midnight Snack was created to taste like a peanut butter, banana, and bacon sandwich. And if you know anything about Elvis, you know that was his favorite meal, allegedly. But here's, because here's where it gets tricky. There are a lot of stories about Elvis and his love of the sandwich. Some claim that he never used bacon. Others say they never saw him eat the stuff once. Huh. Others say he ate the sandwiches all the time. Wow. Uh, at this point, it really doesn't matter because the uh, PB&B whiskey is here, whether we like it or not. Yeah. It comes in the signature bottle, and it's 70% you know, or 70 proof or 70%. I don't know. It says 70% proof, which is not a thing. No. Yeah, it's got um, probably 70 proof. 70 right? proof. Yeah, he did eat those. I think the bacon was like an accessory to it. But, uh, you know, honestly, towards the end, I don't think he knew what he was eating, really. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but uh, there there was something go. that he ate. Yeah. All yeah. right, number eight, call it clickbait or whatever you want. How about a look at some of, you know, just some dumb headlines yeah. around the All world. Right. First one, my cousin won't stop sending me pictures of her breastfeeding. Mm. Oh. Uh, all right. All right, yeah. next one, something sketchy is going down at my second grader's recess. Oh. Or how yeah. about this one, a, an opinion piece. Did, do you suffer from shop blindness? I've struggled to locate coconut milk for oh, years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're telling me. Right. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, number seven, time for a little something we call a moment of astronomy. All right. Today we're talking about black holes. According to an analogy from researchers at Northwestern, black holes gobble up wayward stars the same way toddlers eat their food. They take a few bites, then fling the remains across the galaxy. So in short, Black holes are sloppy, messy eaters. Read more about it in the Astrophysical Journal for some light spring reading. All right, number six, huge underwear news. Oh, Wimbledon yeah, has attention. changed the rules. Ladies are now allowed to wear dark undergarments. Previously, players were required to wear clothing that is almost entirely white. 
the entire time that they're in the stadium. But the women have been pleading with the All England Tennis Club for years to let them wear skivvies that aren't white. Mm. Now, last year, one of the female players had to head back to the locker room to change her sports bra because it wasn't white. So this is a good change for the ladies. Congratulations to them. Where do you fall on this, Robin? You're a lady. Does it matter? I don't think it should matter. I mean, I don't think they should care that much. I mean, you never, I mean. Do you, do you labor over which <laughs> color you wear? Which color underwear I wear you when I'm, when I'm playing word, at Wendell? But anytime. anytime. <laughs> um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, st I'm not a big variant. I, yeah. I don't, you, you know, a lot of people yeah. like the fancy underwear. I don't yeah. understand it because yeah. when you're wearing, you could be, you know, in the middle of the day, decide, I'm going to throw on a white t-shirt and then uh -huh. you got some multicolored undergarment on and then uh -huh. you got to change the whole outfit. Is that? Tell me more. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Fun. I want to hear it. This I'm is, serious. Yeah. So yeah. I wouldn't, why wouldn't you just yeah. stick to plain? Do you like sure. basic so. colors, no designs, no Yeah, just because so. it's easier. I'm all yeah. about be, you convenience. know, convenience, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. I got to tell you, I... <laughs> you, why are you I, asking? I, no, 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 I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not easily stunned. <laughs> yeah. But the fact that she didn't <laughs> shut that down immediately yeah. is like... I'm a little surprised by that what also. What do I have to The hide? Lord can return yeah. right yeah. now, yeah. and I wouldn't be yeah. any more surprised <laughs> than yeah. I am. Yeah. 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 Okay, Panties. what, no, what do you about. hate more, this conversation or when we have conversations about uh, bodily this functions? This conversation doesn't bother me. This no. is your thing, Pe you know. Yeah, oh. he's fine with underwear. Larry, and <laughs> passing gas is everybody's thing. Yeah. <laughs> Number five, Hi. nature is cruel, nature is unforgiving. Here is evidence from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Research Institute. Oh boy, we're going to see some... And you see some this is a circle right of now. life. Yeah, it right. is, but you know, I mean, it's fun. It's a heron eating a baby Whoa, alligator. Oh, you don't expect that. No, you don't. <gasps> oh wow. my gosh. Wow. The bird beating the alligator. Yeah. Wow. Oh. There he goes. Wow. That has That's to be a not tough. come out easy either. That's a tough swallow. <laughs> <laughs> it's the t it's all it's all good until the tail. Yeah, yeah really. Yeah, what the? <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Man, <laughs> nature is something. Yeah. Huh? Not what I would have chosen to eat out of there, but. <laughs> what would you have chosen? Uh, I'd have gone with some greenery. <laughs> all right, number four. Uh, You've just been turned down by your dream school. No worries. A high school teacher in Los Angeles has been throwing rejection parties for the past decade. This is great. Her students bring in their college rejection letters. She has each one of them take turns shredding it before making the pledge, I will not be defined by the college I attend. Mm. Once that's over, she rewards them with an ice cream sundae. Oh. Her goal is to show the kids that being turned down is not the end of the world. Yeah. If you search on TikTok or Instagram, you'll find that people are throwing all sorts of parties when they're rejected. Therapists say it helps share the experience with others and realize you're not the only one mm. going through yeah. it. That's Very good. true. Yeah, good awareness. Speaking on behalf of a couple rejects. Yeah. <laughs> multiple. Yeah. Multiple rejects. Yeah. Oh, and it well. happened after college for us. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, you guys got into good colleges. It was after yeah. college that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. All right, uh, number three, do you want to see a pigeon do a backflip? Yes, yes, I do. Yes, we do. This here is a Birmingham <laughs> roll. Whoa. Look at that, huh? Whee! They're a breed of domesticated pigeon that originated in England, and they were bred for their ability to do uh, rapid backward somersaults while flying. Look at that. Nope. There's no that reason for it. It's just a cool little trick they probably do to show off to the ladies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No one really knows how they do it, but they can be taught. And for the ones that don't do it in flight, it's uh, the. It's fun to see them do it on the ground if they're not doing it in the yeah, air. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Mm. Show them the care, right? I got to tell you, I got to give it to our 9 at 9 producers for finding these little gems that yeah. we learn something every day. Yeah. Didn't know that existed. The only thing I'd like to add to that is they put a little shorts on it, right? Like a little outfit, some tight <laughs> pants, and maybe a Like strap. a gymnastics outfit? A gymnastics outfit, outfit right? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> but otherwise, it's great. Yeah. Number two, there's a restaurant in Palm Beach where you can grab a slice and also pay your respects to a beloved pet. It's called Pizza Al Fresco. The courtyard is the final resting place of Johnny Brown, the human monkey. Oh, dear. Johnny was the beloved pet of famed Florida architect Addison Meisner, but Johnny was so much more than a pet. He was Meisner's guest at social events and his constant companion. Isn't that nice? 
At one point, Johnny Brown, the human monkey, also ran for mayor. Johnny didn't win the vote, but he won a lot of hearts. Anyway, if you're ever at Pizza Al Fresco, stop by and say hi to Johnny the Human Monkey. His headstone is in the corner. Mm. Oh, that's a beautiful Ew. story. Okie dokie. All right, number one, here's an old story told by Billy Crystal on CBS Sunday Morning a few years back. It, uh, it might change your uh, opinion of baseball great Joe DiMaggio, who apparently demanded to be referred to. A lot of people know this when he was alive. He always wanted to be known and introduced as the greatest living ball player, Joe DiMaggio, at Old Timers Games. Jeez. Uh, things like that. This story takes place in 1995. The Yankees had Mickey Mantle Day at the stadium and they were unveiling his monument in Monument Park. It's a big deal. The Mantle family asked me to be one of the speakers. I was incredibly moved that this was a request that they thought their dad wanted. And so I'm, I'm on the field and I make my speech and then when I finished, I, I threw it to a film package on the s screen at the stadium. And Bobby Mercer, rest his soul, came over to me and said, listen, while you're there, introduce DiMaggio. So I, I went, okay, I never met the man before, but it was my dad's favorite player, and there he was, the legend of legends. And he's, I look over in the, in the dugout, there he is, a shock of white hair, he was a little bent over at the time, but it's, uh, it's DiMaggio. So when the film clip ended, everyone was crying. It was mantle moments and fathers and sons and 58,000 people. And I go, ladies and gentlemen, Joe DiMaggio. Oh, boy. Boom, he walks out, comes up to me. He says, I'm not speaking, as the crowd's going crazy. I said, okay. You know, I, he says, what do I do? I said, Good, stand next to Whitey Ford and Yogi and, and keep waving. You know, <laughs> anyway, I can do that. And he was just well like this. Come off the field. We're in the runway at the, where the clubhouse is. And... Um, the door opens and DiMaggio comes out, walks right up to me and punches me in the stomach without me being ready. It was bent over like this. He gets in my face and he goes, world's greatest living player. And walked away. And I did what you're doing. <laughs> what? And the guy goes, he's supposed to introduce him as the greatest living player. Oh, my God. It's his thing. It's his thing. I had no <laughs> idea. I, 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 they bring me up to Mr. Steinbrenner's box. First time I'm up there, I walk in. George is laughing, going, you're supposed to. I said, I know. He says, I know. Joe's cranky. Don't worry about it. Sit down. Have whatever you want. Your family's over there. Welcome. You know, we'll straighten him out. And that's, that's, how, we, that's, oh that's, that's how we got off to a, a, on a wrong punch. <laughs> oh, my wow. God. Yeah. <clears throat> wow, charming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He he was what you might call cantankerous. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, we all have our strengths. It's the duality of man. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Cuckoo kachoo don't I mean that's it. One hundred percent good in wholesome language. Yeah. yeah. No. I don't know. Yeah. 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 No. Uh -uh. All have our dark spots. Well, that's the nine and nine. <sighs> nine. Nine and nine. All right.